A killer whale off the coast of South Africa has been caught on camera hunting and killing a great white shark. The lion is like the king of the land, but even it can be defeated by hyenas. The eagle is like the king of the air, but at night it's not safe from owls. But when it comes to the underwater world, orcas have no equal. Orcas, also known as killer whales, are large marine mammals belonging to the dolphin family. They are known for their distinctive black and white coloring and are considered apex predators in the ocean. Orcas are highly intelligent and social animals, living in pods with complex communication and hunting strategies. They have a diverse diet, feeding on fish, seals, and even larger marine mammals. The 2nd of March, 2024, an orca was recorded hunting and taking down a great white shark in a truly surprising attack along the South African coast. Experts called it a never-before-seen event, emphasizing the outstanding hunting abilities of killer whales. The video shows the real strength of these adorable orcas. But before we dive into that, let's discuss previous instances showcasing the killer instincts of orcas. Orcas or killer whales. No need to explain what orcas are. Those big black and white predators are incredibly smart. Seriously, their hunting skills are something else. Orcas are like masterminds, you know? They plan each hunt carefully depending on what's on the menu. And here's the thing, they're not solo hunters. They team up. Whether it's disorienting a shark with a bubble carousel or working together on a strategic attack, they've got it figured out. When it comes to whales, well, it's quite a sight. Orcas take turns ramming, biting, and pulling the whale by the fins until they tire it out. It might sound brutal, but it's a pretty effective plan for them. Blue whales are often considered the largest creatures to have ever lived on Earth, weighing over 190 tons. Now, imagine what orcas might be thinking. That's a massive meal. So a group of orcas, which are essentially toothed dolphins, decided to challenge a blue whale. Picture this, several orcas turning a colossal creature like the blue whale away. Even giants like the blue whale seem to prefer avoiding a confrontation with these cunning predators. But interestingly, the most common targets for killer whales are baby whales. Well, it seems like orcas are pretty picky eaters, especially when it comes to humpback whale calves those are like their favorite snack. Funny thing is, orcas often just eat the tongues and leave the rest of the carcass for other animals. And you know what? Apparently it's the tasty part. The same sort of thing happens with sharks. Orcas are like, we're only interested in the liver because it has some useful stuff in it. In a way, you could say sharks are like the vitamins of the sea for orcas. Orcas as ocean's top predator. When you think about the mightiest ocean predators, sharks might come to mind, but that's not entirely accurate. The real boss of the sea is the killer whale. Surprisingly, killer whales aren't whales at all. They're actually dolphins. It might be hard to believe that a cute animal like a dolphin is ruling the ocean, but we'll explain more in the next part of the video. Killer whales are what we call apex predators, which means they don't have any natural enemies. They work together in groups, kind of like wolves, who are also at the top of their food chain. You'll often find resident killer whales that mostly eat salmon. Sometimes we come across transient orcas. These guys are real foodies. They eat everything from fish to seals, sharks, and even other whales. And just to prove how top-notch they are, there's a story from wildlife watchers off the coast of California who saw a killer whale attacking a great white shark. That's some serious boss behavior. Of course, the orca won the showdown. No competition. Interactions between great whites and orcas usually don't go well for the sharks. Back in 1997, the first recorded encounter happened, and two orcas killed a great white shark, munching on its liver. And get this, in 2017, five great whites washed ashore in South Africa, all missing their livers with super precise removal. Orcas were the prime suspects. It's pretty scary stuff. Orcas are super smart and work in groups when they hunt. Their presence alone, even if it's just for a little while, can seriously shake up the whole ecosystem. When orcas are around, Great white sharks tend to run away and stay away from hunting in that area for about a year. This messes with the normal balance of prey, affecting the entire ecosystem. So it seems like killer whales can be called the true bosses of the ocean. Why killer whales? Now, about the name killer whales. It's not like they're swimming around with weapons. Ancient sailors gave them that name because they saw orcas hunting and taking down larger whale species. They called them whale killers or assassina bienus. Eventually, the name got flipped around to killer whales for simplicity. The Latin name for killer whales or orcas is Orchinus orca, 
which reflects the ancient observation of orcas feeding on large whales. Orcanus means of the kingdom of the dead, and orca refers to a type of whale. While orcas are top predators, they aren't the vicious whale killers that ancient mariners believed them to be. Orcas are known for their rather strange playfulness. They play like real psychos, uh, literally, instead of just eating a poor seal orcas play with it like a ball and again and again. Sometimes it's a kind of practice just to keep their killer skills up. Sometimes it's a demonstration for the younger generation. Sometimes the game remains just a game orcas kill because they're bored. Hey Orca, what should we do tonight? Let's throw other animals until they die. By the way, it's not just seals that suffer. Sometimes it could be stingrays, turtles, or even a penguin god. It's a bird, what's more, not even land will save you. Because if an Orca decides to eat someone, it will reach its goal. So who can actually beat an Orca? I considered stingrays, but it turns out they're just on the Orca's menu. Sea crocodiles have super strong bites and thick skin. Their jaws don't open wide enough to bite off anything important. Maybe you've got some ideas? Share them in the comments and we'll definitely check them out. Orcas and great white sharks killer whales often have a friendlier image than great white sharks, possibly due to their portrayals in movies. Even in Jaws, the movie starts with a beached, half-eaten orca carcass. Speaking of great white sharks, they have impressive abilities. They can smell a single drop of blood in 10 billion drops of water, detect movement from up to 820 feet away, and with their streamlined bodies and razor-sharp teeth, they are quite intimidating. Despite their fearsome reputation, great white sharks generally don't eat people, and most attacks on humans aren't fatal. However, it's always a good idea to make sure you're not bleeding if you're going to be in the ocean. Historically, orcas have demonstrated a strategic edge over great white sharks. In 1997, the first recorded encounter took place, where two orcas not only took down but also consumed a great white shark. This surprising event challenged the conventional belief that sharks are the undisputed kings of the underwater realm. In 2017, along the shores of South Africa, five great white sharks washed ashore, all missing their livers with surgical precision. The culprits behind these precise extractions were strongly suspected to be orcas, showcasing their calculated hunting techniques and leaving a lasting impression on the marine ecosystem. The interactions between orcas and great white sharks are not mere skirmishes. They are strategic battles between two of the ocean's apex predators. Orcas, also known as killer whales, have been observed employing teamwork and intelligence to outmaneuver great white sharks during hunting expeditions. These incidents challenge our traditional views of marine dominance, painting orcas as powerful contenders in the underwater arena. The ongoing tales of orcas versus great white sharks underscore the dynamic and intricate relationships within the ocean's diverse ecosystem. Orcas veers human. Have you ever wondered about the outcomes when humans come into contact with orcas? Well, let's see. Take for instance Luna, an orca who lost its family and has become so accustomed to human interaction that it behaves like a playful puppy, a several ton sea puppy. Watching orcas play with people might make you momentarily forget that they are formidable predators, unmatched in the sea. If you've watched Free Willy, the idea of orcas being portrayed as gentle and friendly might make you feel a bit deceived. Indeed, Hollywood plays a significant role in shaping these perceptions. Even the orcas performing in aquariums may not be the gentle and good-natured creatures they are often portrayed to be. One of the most frightening examples is Telecom trained male orca involved in at least three human deaths. The first victim, Kelty Byrne, accidentally fell into a pool with Tilikum and two other orcas. They played with her, submerged her in the water, and prevented her from surfacing, leading to her drowning. The second victim was a man who sneaked into Tilikum's pool after the aquarium closed. However, the worst attack happened during a live show when Tilikum dragged experienced trainer Don Branchot into the water by her hair. In front of a shocked audience, Tilikum played with Dawn as if she were a toy, and by the time help arrived, she had tragically passed away. Despite the incident, Tilikum went back to performing, highlighting the complex nature of captivity and entertainment. These tragedies have occurred not only at SeaWorld Orlando, but also at other SeaWorld aquariums. Orcas, despite being in captivity, seem to retain their wild instincts. They are formidable predators with unmatched strength and intelligence. At SeaWorld San Diego, for instance, orcas don't just attack when food is presented. They use bait to attract birds deliberately. 
They toss pieces of fish to lure the birds closer, demonstrating their clever hunting strategies. Orcus may even hunt birds just for the thrill of the chase. Considering these incidents, it's prudent to keep a distance from Orcus, especially those in captivity, as they may see humans as part of their play or prey. Perhaps from Tilikum's perspective, all the victims were just part of the game. It's a reminder of the complexities involved when keeping such intelligent and powerful creatures in captivity. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do not forget to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe for more captivating videos. See you next time in Underwater Scaries.